Hey guys, this is Rollways the Hunter, and today I am playing Moirai. So, I don't know much about this game, but Akris recommended that I should start playing this game in my channel, since it's a very interesting game. It looks interesting. I mean, like, it's an 8-bit looking game, mixed in with some 16-bit looking style, I don't know, 16, 8-bit, whatever. But, it's first person. Like, that's the thing. It's just first person, but 16-bit looking. So it seems interesting, and I just can't wait to play it. Let's find out what this whole game is about, starting right now. And... Oh, wait, I can't use my mouse to look around. Oh, okay. So, right now I'm walking around. Well, I don't know where should I walk around to, but I guess I should start talking to people. Let's talk to this guy. But he's a priest. My prayers can go out. The poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. Um, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll visit soon. But let me talk to these people. I'm gonna talk to the boy. Need to stay close to Moa, um, Moma. Otherwise, she'll worry that we've run off. Okay, and who are you? The mother? Okay. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys run off, I mean, run of my sight. Hmm, okay, so it seems like there's some interesting stuff going on with this Julia person. And what about her? Talk to the girl. Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Okay, well she only knows about sheep, while him I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, boy, but I don't know what the heck is with you. Hmm, so there's a bed over there. Oh, but there's the boy. <laughs> okay, I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm too sc scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulders. Hmm, a little boy, huh? In a cave? Well, that's strange. Hey look, there's this guy. Let's talk to the chef. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Yeah, okay, sure thing. That is if I find animals. And let's talk to the person in this house. My uncle and dad are out Shopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. And finally, we're going to go to this house. The house that one person recommended that I should visit. Huh, that's strange. Well, there's a bookshelf. I'm going to look at it. There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I wonder where could they be? Maybe they're in that cave. Or, who knows, could be that Julia person we were talking about earlier. Well, there's one thing to find out. I mean, one way to find out, and that is by going over here, I guess. Let's go to the farm. So, this is the farm. And what's this? Read signpost. Farm. Yeah, of course, this is a farm. <laughs> obvious. Yeah, let's not read any of those again. I mean, that's just too obvious. Hold on. Before I go over there, I mean, I think this is the cave, but let's go over here. And Whoa, there's a lot of sheep. <laughs> it even bah for me. Let's go in there to the barn door, and it's locked. Well, that sucks. I want to see if there was more animals. But hey, at least there's a lot of sheep. And they're adorable. Now, what I'm gonna do is go over there and talk to this guy. Whoa, but what the heck is this? There's a lot of stuff here. I see a pickaxe. 
uh, lantern. Okay, so I picked up the lantern on the stamp. I don't know if I'm gonna need this pickaxe, but let's talk to the lumberjack. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Oh, yeah, yeah, I already picked it up, but yeah, let's go to the cave. Okay, I'm just wandering around. Okay, who's that? Hey, you, come over there. Oh, gosh, what do you want, mister? Did my brother send you? Bless, I'm the moans are, are coming. I mean, bless, the moans are coming from further down I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. Oh, thank you, man. What's that? Is that a rat? And how do I use this knife? Do I just start... Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry about that. Do I just click? Um... I don't know where to go, honestly. It looks like a maze. Like, a really scary maze, I guess. Or I don't know. Let's just wander around the cave and everything will be alright. Um, I hope so. But really, is this a maze? Is that a bone? Something must have died here. The bones look as though they're, they are a child's. Oh my gosh, um, that must be that Julia person's bones. And there's a crack over there, but I'm kind of scared to go. Let's go into the hole! I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Oh, so there's something shiny in there. Let's go to the other side of the cave and see what we can find here. Hmm. This is really interesting. Seven minutes into the game, and then it's like, wow. <laughs> What's over there? Do 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 cave. Walking around the freaking cave. What's that? I hear something. I hear something. But what? What the heck could I possibly be? Oh gosh. Something's over there. In this freaking cave. What is that? It's just a rat. Oh my gosh. It's just a rat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck is that? There's a freaking bloody farmer holding a knife. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, who the heck are you? Mister, mister. A farmer approached. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I've heard moans. What have you done? A farmer named Dylan tried to kill me. Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. Wait, am I reading this again? I heard moans. What have you done? Let them pass for protection. I heard moans. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm supposed to choose what the heck. Okay, okay. Um, let them pass. Attack. Uh, I don't know if I should attack you or let them pass. Hmm. Let them pass. All right. I will let you go. Thank you, old man, farmer guy. I mean, you're a nice guy, right? I I guess so. I, I guess he's a nice guy. I still hear stuff. I hear some moaning now, and this doesn't seem good. Uh, what's going on? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh gosh, this is creepy already. Well, isn't this supposed to be a horror game? Uh, please hold me. I am in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia. Oh my gosh, it's Julia. And I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband ha was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold. And then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I 
thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't rest me. I mean, trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered into the caves. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better, but he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. I will. Uh, um, will you help me? Will you? help me and my life oh um i don't know i mean this is kind of dark don't you think well i mean i guess she needs that because well she wants it but at the same time it's bad to do that no i'm going to get help yes close your eyes oh gosh what should i do this is too dark already. I don't know if I should end it, or if I should just not. I don't even know. Jeez. I'm gonna think about it, because really, I guess, no, maybe, so? Um, okay, how about this? I'll like, close my eyes, and then by the time I open it, I'll choose a random choice. And that choice will be... Alright. I choose this one. Yes, close your eyes. Please, end it quickly. Okay, here you go. I am sorry to do this to you. He stabbed you. Now what? Is that it? Are we done here? That sucks, how I have to do this to you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, miss... Never thought this would be so sad. Now what? Are we done? I guess so. Hmm. So, what are we gonna do now? Are we gonna get out of the cave and then um, see everyone? Also, I think this game has some multiple endings or something. Because there is a lot of choices we have to do. I mean, like, what will happen if I attack the farmer and then get help, so then she doesn't have to die? I might as well do that soon. But first, let's get out of here and see what's gonna ha Oh, crap! Who the heck are you? Wait a second. Are you that farmer that I saw earlier? The farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Uh, why? And now I have to type it. Oh, gosh. What should I say? Well, oh wait, cat box. <laughs> well, it's a long story. I sort of killed someone. Why do you have a knife? Because a farmer gave it to me. I heard moans. What have you done? Oh, what have I done? Well, what I... Wait a second. This is the same stuff that happened last time. By any chance, am I that person? I is that me? That farmer guy. Who I saw not too long ago. Was that person me? Oh gosh. This is so confusing now. Well, let's see what's gonna happen here. I heard moans. What have you done? Okay, what have I done? So, let's think about it. Um, killed someone, I guess. Let me see what will happen to you. Oh, God! What's gonna happen? And that is where the story shall end. At least for now. This is up to the next player of the game to choose your fate, just as you choose for the previous player. 
Oh god. Enter your name. Roboy Z Hunter. Enter your your email address. Wait a second, what? My email address? Why should I do that? Hmm. Wait. This is a little bit of stalking, but okay. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press base to submit your details. Okay, I'm gonna find out what the heck happens whenever you don't... Well, whenever you kill the farmer and then um, try to not kill that girl. So let's find out right here. So I think everything's gonna be the same so far. I mean, same old stuff. Everyone's gonna say the same thing for right now. But I think the thing that changes is once you enter that cave and talk to the farmer for the first time. So there's this guy who gives you the knife. He's gonna give you that. And we're gonna go look for that farmer right about now. Farmer, where the heck are you? Is that you? Or, wait, where are you? You're somewhere. Oh, there you are. A farmer approach. Okay, so let's see what here. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Cuz, I had to kill a dying lady so she doesn't suffer. Huh, just like me. I heard moans. What have you done? The lady was dying, and I killed her. Why do you have a knife? A lumberjack brother gave me this and I use it on the lady. Let him pass? Or attack? I'm gonna attack! And there we go. Stab. Just look at him. He's all dead. On the floor. While well, you just have a lot of blood all over the place. And now we're gonna go this way and see where that lady's at. And there she is. So, everything's gonna be the same dialogue for right now. At least, that's what it seems. And what we're gonna do is say, no, I'm going to get help. Then leave me, you coward. Okay. Whatever. I'm leaving. Bye-bye. And I'll see you whenever, I guess. And now what I'm gonna do is probably go back. I don't know where, though, but... Oh, wait. It's that guy, though. <laughs> Let's see what he says. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why? Because... I killed... I killed... Ugh, crap. I killed a farmer who looks just like you. But with bloody overalls. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. And then, why do you, you have a knife? Why do I have a knife, you may ask? Because... Some guy... Gave it to me. I heard moans. What have you done? I... Was about to get help. To save a lady. Let me see, what will happen to you? Wow. So, we just have the same ending, except the dialogue has changed. A little bit. Okay. So, here we have it. That's it for today. And, you know, the game's gonna close once again. Oh, wait. But first, I need to enter my name. Roboy Z Hunter and my email address Gamer Expert 105 at wait a second that's an O let me fix that Gamer Expert 105 at hotmail dot com there we go and yeah 
So, I got the email, and it says here, as you left the cave, you were comforted by a farmer called Death Metal Musikant. They asked you three questions. The first question that was asked was, why do you have blood on your overalls? Ooh, okay. To which you respond, well, it's a long story. I sort of killed someone. Oh yeah, I remember saying that. The second question that we asked was, Why do you have a knife? To which you respond, Because a farmer gave it to me. Oh, well, sorry about that. It wasn't a farmer. It was, um... It was that lumberjack guy. <laughs> yeah, that was my mistake. Sorry about that, guys. And the third one was... Um... Well, the third question asks, I heard moans. What have you done? To wish you respond, killed someone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. After hearing your answers, Death Metal Moose Kent decided to let you pass. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't know he's going to let me pass. I mean, like, wouldn't saying that I killed someone will make them want to kill me? Jeez. This seems appropriate as you let the previous farmer, Nethleel, Neth walk past despite being covered in blood, and that draw draws an end to your involvement in the story. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed the game, I mean this game, then please consider spreading the word about it on via Facebook and Twitter. Sure thing. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Turns out this whole game is just you answering a question and then you just give it out to the world so then they could see it and then... Well, it just goes on and on forever and ever. That is so cool. So, here's another one. This one is from that second playthrough that I did. Just to see, like... What changed? So let's read this one. So first question, why do you have blood on your overalls? To which you respond, because I killed a farmer who looks just like you but with bloody overalls. After hearing your answer, G um, Ginja decided to kill you with the knife received from the wood shop shopper which goes um, to sue, I mean, to show that karma is alive, and well, as you choose to kill the previous farmer, a farmer, and that draws the end to your environment in this story. Thank you for playing. <laughs> wow. So saying that makes the person kill me. Wow. Just wow. I thought I was going to get killed from the other thing, but turns out this was the opposite. Okay. This is the opposite with what I was thinking. So, I experienced two different kinds of endings, I guess I could say. One way I got killed, and the other way I got, um, I survived. Now that is, like, that was one heck of a game, I must say. Well, once again, I... I'm going to end this video for right now and play a new game whenever I go back to YouTube again. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.